Make sure to use code BANGLE at sign up on FanDuel for a $20 deposit bonus and check out my second channel for other games coming up like Red Dead Redemption 2 and Call of Duty Black Ops 4 as well as my third channel with collaborations with some of your favorite YouTubers. Let's get into the video. What's going on guys? Bangle again here coming back at you with another video and today we're going to be talking about Antonio Brown. Not really sure what I'm going to title this video just yet, but a lot of people have been asking me, what do you think about this Antonio Brown stuff? What do you think about him potentially being traded, asking to be traded, because that's what happened. Antonio Brown, just the other day, asked to be traded. Now, what does this mean for the Steelers? What does this mean for other teams potentially going out and recruiting Antonio Brown? Is Antonio Brown going to be traded? Is that even possible? Well, just from a financial standpoint, not really. So, okay, it comes down to... to a basic concept here and that's going to be is it worth it financially for the Steelers to trade Antonio Brown based on what they would get back in draft picks so here's how it works right now and these numbers are going to be astounding to you guys I, I they, they should be they really should be so right now Antonio Brown is 30 years old right 30 years old He's still one of the best receivers in the league. It'd be impossible to say otherwise because his numbers over the last several years have been absolutely fantastic. Antonio Brown has been incredible. Even this year, where it's been an off year for Antonio Brown, you could say, he still had over 100 catches. He still had 1,300 yards and 15 touchdowns. His season was incredible. Sure, he dropped off significantly 200 yards from what he had last year, but he also had a career high in touchdowns. I mean, I know Juju Smith-Schuster has kind of stolen the show there in Pittsburgh, it seems like, but even in only playing 15 games, Antonio Brown had 15 touchdowns, almost 1,300 yards receiving, and over 100 catches. Sure, he is 30. He'll be turning 31 before the start of the next season. His birthday is July 10th. So what would you really give up for a receiver who's going to be 31 years old? next year but still in his prime well his dead cap so this would be if they deal him the cap counting against the Steelers for the next year 29 million because he just got a monster monster contract extension and this doesn't even go further down really next year I mean it does but not so much substantially that it doesn't even matter it's 21 mil in dead cap if they hold on to him and cut him in 2019 or trade him in 2019. I think the trade, uh, the dead cap works a little bit differently. 14 mil in 2020. And then in 2021, here's the out for the Steelers. And keep in mind, this is three years down the line. So Antonio Brown in the offseason would be going into his year 34 season. And that's 2021. He's still under contract. He's not an unrestricted free agent until 2022 when he'll be 34. I mean, it's just, it's just a really, really weird situation. So, from a trade standpoint, I mean, and they're definitely not going to cut him, but from a trade standpoint, it works slightly differently because um, here's what happens. If they cut Antonio Brown before his bonus is due in March, and this is via Jeremy Fowler at ESPN, um, and they can spread the dead money over two years instead of just one year, they would save $8 million on the 2019 cap if they spread it, right? Um, if he's traded after June 1st, his dead cap moves from 21 million, which is the number we were just talking about at the start of this next season, to only 7 million. So right now, you're not going to see Antonio Brown traded. It just will not happen before that June 1st deadline. It won't happen. I really, really don't believe that it will. So I think this is a story that's getting a lot of traction now that's going to completely die off. For a number of months you're not going to see this really get heat again really get traction in my opinion until like five six months down the line because of just the money just is so significant that really no package of picks or players it would make a ton of sense for the Steelers to do that because I mean, you're, you're sacrificing so much and you're not going to have to pay Le'Veon Bell likely I think he's done in Pittsburgh and once once Big Ben retires it's a lot of money off the books as well but it doesn't make any sense right now for Antonio Brown to be traded. It just does not. However, as we talked about you know moments ago, it 
would potentially make sense for Antonio Brown to be traded after June 1st. So in this video, we're going to talk about some potential trade locations for him, some destinations, some teams I would go after him. Uh, and really, in my opinion, it would be any team. And to an extent, he's one of the best receivers in the NFL, arguably the best. In my opinion, there are four and now maybe five number one receivers. And what I mean by that is not like a true number one, the way I would talk about, you know, the size, speed, ability. I'm talking about tied for number one as like the best receiver in the NFL before there's a drop off. And that's DeAndre Hopkins. That is Antonio Brown, Julio Jones, Odell Beckham Jr. And now Michael Thomas. Those are, those are really the five. After that, there is a tier drop off. You have guys that are close but there is a significant drop-off to where I would not call them one of the really best receivers in the NFL. That's Devontae Adams. That's Keenan Allen. That's A.J. Green. He used to be. A.J. Green dropped off a bit for me. And then you're seeing other names in there, like Juju Smith-Schuster is rising up quite a bit. There are some really, really good receivers like that don't even get talked about because of their size, probably, but like Brandon Cooks and T.Y. Hilton and Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill, obviously, is a good is getting talked about a lot because of his season this year and how amazing he's played, but we're not talking about them. So Antonio Brown, without question, is one of those top receivers in the NFL. His numbers back it up even this year, uh, and it, it felt like a down year, but, I mean, his numbers were just unbelievable again. Multiple games above 100 yards, uh, but really fewer than you'd expect from him. But one, two, three, four, four games of 100-plus yards or more. Five games, excuse me, he had 101. Uh, against Pittsburgh in week five but he had a touchdown in every single game except against Denver and Oakland and in Oakland he only had five catches for 35 yards but against every other team he uh, and Kansas City in week two excuse me but a touchdown or more in every game except for three on the entire season he played in 15 games it's just incredible what he does for an offense so it's tough for me to really talk about trade destinations when seemingly any team could go after Antonio Brown because of his ability and now the more and more you hear about it and I was uh I was hearing earlier I was in a stream if you guys know uh Gut Fox I was listening to him talk about Antonio Brown he's a Steelers fan there are so many incidents and there's a list uh that was on uh, that was on Reddit with every single incident of Antonio Brown and when you look at them in a one-off situation oh that's that's fine it doesn't matter it's just a one-off situation and that's i feel like what we've dismissed over the past several years is these antonio brown incidents and there were there was like a list of 15 and this was only from the last off season to this off season like a ridiculous number of things where antonio brown he showed up like four hours late to a children's hospital meet and i mean like like that's more forgivable from a football standpoint you're not fighting with coaches but that's that's just like a kind of a shitty person thing to do in my opinion but that's not really a football issue even though i do think that's you know it's pretty screwed up um but fighting with coaches calling out coaches you know trashing teammates and coaches to the media and and streaming private meetings on facebook live but just like so many different things that I can't even remember or recall at this moment that it's like, you know, maybe because he's so good, you see these and it's an isolated incident or I say in quotes, isolated. These are issues. When you, when you think about all these together and you take so many issues, they don't seem isolated anymore. And when it's one thing after the next, one thing after another, and you're like, man, maybe this guy is really a locker room cancer. Maybe this guy is really just not a guy you want on your team. Infecting the locker room, really, I think is a good word. And it really, I mean, there is a light that's being, that's shining down on this situation now. And it's, it's just kind of weird, but at what point does that locker room cancer, if you will, and I'm not, I'm not pegging him as that, but I'm saying there's definite uh, concern for that. At what point does his skill overmatch that? At what point does it weigh more on you how he is as a teammate versus how he is on the field? And I don't know, man. It's an interesting question 
you'll have to let me know down in the comments below whether you'd want Antonio Brown to come to your team. And I think a lot of you guys, like me, would probably say, yeah, this is one of the best receivers in the league. He makes your team better immediately just because of his presence on the field. But then you think about it and you say, hey, off the field, does he make our team worse based on how he impacts the other players? Just so maybe you, you get your passing offense a little bit better and, and more things open up. But how does he affect everyone? How does he affect the quarterback play? How does he affect the overall atmosphere in the locker room? And we talk about chemistry. We talk about, you know, uh, teams meshing and getting hot at the right time. Well, that's players playing above their ability because that chemistry really meshes. And some of these guys bring out the best in everyone. And, and players play above their ability. This is an effect that Tom Brady has on teammates. And you see these guys that never would have made it with any other team. Wes Welker you know, barely made the NFL, was playing on the Chargers, um, didn't really do anything, played on the Dolphins, didn't really do anything, and then here goes the Patriots. He's a Pro Bowl receiver. Tom Brady makes him. Julian Edelman, another great example. Chris Hogan looks like a stud with Tom Brady. I mean, Tom Brady makes everybody, and that's just not because he's a great player, but he's a great teammate. Players get better around him. That's why the Patriots have been so amazing over these years. It's not just because of Bill Belichick. It's not just because of the Patriot way. A lot of that is, is leadership in the locker room and how these players play together because they're playing to win. They're playing under that winning formula. Does Antonio Brown just act the opposite? Does he counteract all that? I don't know. I think this is a weird thing. I know the 49ers, you've heard a lot about uh, them maybe going after Antonio Brown, but nothing's going to happen right now. Um, just... Uh, just let me know what you think down in the comments section below. I think this is a really interesting thing, and I really do like talking about these things. Uh, so that's why I'm doing a podcast with Wheels. You guys might know him on YouTube. Definitely check him out. His link is in my sub box on my channel. Uh, and we're going to be talking about all NFL stuff. It is an NFL podcast. So you guys remember the Cover 2 podcast I did with Moonlight Swami for a year or so, but he had to drop out from because of his time constrictions and restraints working now with EA. Well, Wheels and I have plenty of time, so we are bringing Football Podcast back to the channel. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think I should name it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.